Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Primetime Pack here with another video. Thank you for everybody that's watching, liking, subscribing. I appreciate it again. Today we're going to go over a video I just came across. The lady's name is Lydia Rico. And I believe she's living out of her van. And before we start this, I want to say that um, there are other um, other YouTubers and people that are um, living out of their cars. People that are living out of their cars. You know, rent is going up. Things are bad, going bad. And all I can say to you guys is do whatever you need to do so you can get back in financial, good financial standing. If you have to sell everything, go about your business. Especially if you're by yourself. If you have kids, it's a little, little different decisions you're going to have to make. But if you're by yourself, single, no kids. Or if you're with somebody with no kids or whatever. Do whatever you need to do to get back in good financial standing. Or get out of debt. Or save money. Um, there's pros and cons about living in your car and places like that, but we'll go over her video and see what's going on. Excuse me. For the last 10 years, I've been living on the road full time, and this means that I haven't been paying rent. There are a lot of reasons why I live in a van, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about it the good and the bad. We are living in a recession right now, so making money is really difficult for anybody right now. You're spending more than you're making, basically. And it's the same for people that live in Iran. For me right now, it's really hard to save up money. I'm always in the same amount. It's like when I make some money, something comes up and I have to spend everything I make. So it's really hard to save up money lately. Leave it in the comments if you feel the same way, but I think it's just really, really hard to save up money since I'd say like a year ago, if you really want to pay rent, then go ahead and pay rent. But to me, I just feel that it's not worth it to pay the big amount of money that they're asking right now for a really, really small apartment. In the area that I'm at right now, they can ask for like something in between 1500 to 2500 for one bed. See, the only thing I can say about doing things like this, if you don't have friends or girlfriends boyfriends or people in your face to tell you oh you need to do this or you need to do that and they're not in your wallet do what you need to do if you're in a position like this you have your van or whatever you can go wherever you need to go stay whatever park it wherever you need to park it and save up your money at the same time nobody needs to know that you're living in your van nobody needs to visit you you don't need to tell nobody nothing unless they're trying to help you other than that, like I said before, do what you need to do. Because when people are suggesting you to spend extra money on this and extra money on that or whatever, they're not giving it to you to spend. It's, they're telling you to spend it out your pocket knowing damn well you will not got the bread to spend that. So, like I said, do what you need to do for your finances. As long as you're not begging anybody else for finances, you need to do what you need to do at the end of the day. Let's continue. Rooms. They're really crazy to me to see that they're asking that much for an apartment. I choose this lifestyle so I avoid those bills because avoiding rent right now for me is the only way to survive. When you live in a van, you barely have any privacy. People is always going to be looking in your van, asking you all random questions. Does it look like a heart? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Introducing Glass Office Chair Mats by Vitraza, the premium alternative to cracked curl. Even if they can. Yeah, and that's the only thing for ladies. For men, you can. I believe you guys can make it a little um, easier than what a woman would be able to do, but her saving money, I'm all about it, but at the same time, it's very unsafe for her to be doing it. Especially without no boyfriend or a thing, because yeah, you just like you, she just showed you, you got a lot of weirdos that's passing by that's gonna be looking at your stuff. Like for her, I think she would want to get darker tints. Um, also park in places that's not gonna be crowded, like during the daytime or night, actually. Yeah, so. Yeah, darker tints. 
first if you're gonna do something like this pretty much can come and see it inside you know when you pay for rent and you have your own house you just close your door and normally you have some privacy the good thing is that you don't have the same neighbors every day so if i feel like i don't like the area i can just move and go somewhere else but overall you're not gonna have any privacy <laughs> You won't have unlimited electricity. You're always gonna have to depend on having a solar system to get some power or some kind of generator. Also, you're not gonna have unlimited water. So you're gonna have very limited water. In my case, I only have 15 gallons of fresh water. Kind of annoying, but I'm not paying rent. So, you know, compared to a house, you have very limited. Okay, so when you're in a position like this, yeah, you're not paying for water or rent any of these type of things and they're limited or whatever you're going to be living life very frugal because you have to save that bread so you can get into position now her going into 10 years of doing it mm, well she's youtube and i don't know how much money she's making but i i pray she's saving that money or not putting herself in predicaments where she has to continue spending or whatever the case may be because that's a that's the that's the main issue with people in general they're getting money but they're spending it so they're just going in a cycle what you want to do is make the most money put yourself in a good position and then you can spend it so then you're not trying to struggle to get the money back or whatever or just kill yourself trying to make money basically you know what i mean now let's continue space for food very limited space for clothing and for items that you want to just keep in your van in a lot of places van life or living in any vehicle is illegal and i've deal with problems like this in the past right now it's a little more relaxed in the area that i am but in the past i got harassed by police i got tickets almost every night it was yeah. like a harassment basically because they knock on the windows they really harass you night after night after night until you are so tired and you barely sleep any night that they just keep pushing your buttons and put you more and more tickets for different things right now i haven't been experiencing this since i have this little vehicle but when i had bigger vehicles like rvs they basically harass me on a daily basis so when you have a house that's something that doesn't happen to you you pay rent and if you pay rent then you just you know live in peace in your house and that's not really every time in the case when you live in a vehicle you always have to be looking for a place to stay for the night learn the area that you are staying knowing if it's okay or not to park if you're gonna get tickets or not definitely something to look into it if you are really somebody that is stressed out really easily you have everything inside your vehicle so you have to be very aware i am very conscious of that that's why i'm putting a lot of security systems i have gps and i have a lot of tracking devices just in case if something gets stolen or my vehicle so that's a little bit of a peace of mind for me 17 Mary is sponsoring this video today this is a beginner friend yeah she gotta get that. she gotta get if you got some money mama you gotta go and get that that van tinted dark tints on top of that yeah because people just gonna if your car is just sitting there people are gonna be nosy i don't know how bad the areas are around you but they're gonna be checking inside your van all the time yeah and that's one of the problems you're definitely gonna have looking for a parking spot where you're not going to be bugged by the um either the businesses or security that's around there or the police so yeah you need to <laughs> you look for a good parking spot where you're not gonna i'm in florida so um i never lived in my car so I, i'm not sure off the top of my head where you would stay but yeah, that's one of the things you really got to worry about so you don't get harassed. Friendly dash cam. If you follow me for a while in this channel, you know that somebody tried to mess with my van and they actually sabotaged my brakes. I never got any proof or any video or nothing. Having this dash cam is definitely making me feel safer on the road as a solo female van lifer. 
because now I could have some video and audio recording if somebody tried to sabotage me again. There is two different cameras, the one that we have on the front and the one on the back. They are both recording at the same time. They have amazing quality during the day, but also at night. There's a microphone on these cameras. You can record audio. Super sensitive ADAS for improved driving safety. You can access to all the settings from the app on your phone. You can see any recordings from your phone. It has a 24 hour feature that is called Smart Guardian Parking Mode. And it's enabled by a collision or any big movements in the vehicle. It has a built-in GPS and route tracking. It has improved ADAs for improved driving safety. I needed help to install these That's cameras cool. because I needed to cover the, the cable link right here. If you think this is a great app, when you pay rent, you normally have stability, you normally have your group of friends around your place, you normally have the same grocery store that you go, you have like a routine and some stability, but when you live in a van, sometimes if you're on the road and you know, Like I said, this type of lifestyle is for people that want to live off the grid, they don't want to be bothered, and you're on a mission to save your bread. Because yeah, friends and family are going to bring around them them talking about you if you're not strong enough it's gonna mess with your head or whatever that you need to change or whatever you need to do but still at the same time you know the point of you well i hope the point of her living in her rent is for her to save up money so she can eventually get a place because a pretty woman like her living in the van I don't know. I gotta go look at, at the rest of her channels to see if she had any issues. Ten years in there, <laughs> there's there's a lot of creeps out here for women. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest to be that long in your van like that. You need to save up that bread ASAP and get a real place. Constantly moving, you won't go to the same grocery store. You don't know what there is around you. You don't know what kind of restaurants or food you can go and get. You don't really have the same friends around you. Sometimes when you spend time in the same city, like I am doing right now, you are able to get to create a routine and meet people that you hang out on a daily basis, like I I do right now. I have friends that I hang out with pretty often now, but it's still you don't know when you're gonna see somebody. It's not like when you live in a house that you know that those neighbors are always going to be around. When you live in a van, it depends. Sometimes there is some friends that you know at the parking lot. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes there is new people. But it's just important that you have like a little group of friends that you know, that they know what it's like to live in a vehicle. So if something happens to you, you kind of have somebody that understands what you're going through. If the lights go out or the stars come down, I will always be right here. I don't care if no one else around. I'll hold you down. I'm always be right here. I'm going to be right here. I'm going to skip past this because she looked like she's just going through her trail and stuff like that. Explosive. Different things every day. I'm living in a van. I feel freedom. I feel more freedom than when I live in a house. A lot of people that live in a van can agree with me that it gives you a lot of flexibility to do a lot of different things every day and you will always have everything you need with you. So changing plans is kind of easy and I really love that about van life because I'm always, you know, changing plans if I need to and going wherever I feel like it for the day and I don't have to plan everything so much. It's more spontaneous than when you live in a house because when you live in a house, you have to plan everything, bring everything that you need from the house, pack, and I really don't have to. Yeah, what she's saying is um correct, but at the same time, you need stability in your on your home, in your life. Moving from even people that live in apartments or homes are up and going within a year or so. Like that, that's it's not good. You need you eventually need to get to yourself to a point where you can just sit sit down. You know what I mean? Unless you just sit, you unless you're just telling your telling yourself that I'm gonna be a nomad and go and travel the world or whatever the case may be that's that's 
that that's when I can understand you're hopping from place to place. But other than that, you need to, you need some stability, some place you can come. Oh, if you go out, you can always come back home after a couple of months or so or whatever whatever you're doing. You just need stability, though. That's most important. To pack, I have everything packed already. <laughs> Basically, this lifestyle taught me how to be a minimalist. I really don't need a lot. I'm not a high maintenance woman that I need nails and eyelashes. I just need good food. Exactly. Being a minimalist. Like she said, you're going to be safe. If she's not doing all those things, she should be saving, be able to save some money up. I, when I was able to cut down a lot of stuff that I was doing, going out, eating eating restaurants all the time, trying to go to venues, events. I started seeing my bank account save. I started seeing my bank account go up and up. We need to cut that, cut down any activity that's making us not be able to save pretty much. There's a time and a place for all that and you can always do that later. Like I said, get the money first and then you then spend it in a nice place to park and I'd be happy for the lake, believe me. Sometimes when you live in a house, you need to pay so many bills, so many things, there is so much to take care of. And it's the same thing with a van, don't get me wrong. It's a different lifestyle, so. So when you live in a home on wheels, then you always have your home with you. So it's very convenient because it gives you a lot of flexibility to change your plans if you need to. Sometimes you're driving through somewhere that looks really nice and Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the um the link for the rest of the video to see if you guys want to go ahead and um, watch it. What I'll say about this is that, um, again, do, do what your pockets say you can do. Don't try to go past that. Yeah, she's, um, I hope, I hope she's saving money and smart that she's doing YouTube to get some extra money or whatever the case may be. But yeah, there's pros and cons with that. You got to be safe. I suggest that she gets that van tinted all the way dark 5%. So nobody can, um, so nobody can see what's going on in there and what's in there. Um, yeah, she, uh, she's been doing it. For, well, the title says she's been doing it for 10 years. I didn't get to watch the whole video, but eventually she, she needs to just save up enough money to go and get a place. Because a nice woman like her don't need to be in the street. Yeah, there's too much weirdos out here. It's just, it's just bad. But again, like I said, guys, do what you need to do for you to get your finances in order. You don't need to get no expensive apartment. You don't need to do any of that type of stuff. Once you get the money, then go ahead and live your life. But stay down a couple of months and you'll be surprised what you can do afterwards. But... Um, go ahead and follow her. I, um, I pray that everything works out eventually for her. Go ahead and follow. Subscribe, guys. Thank you again. It's your boy, Primetime Pat, and I'm out.